When it comes to buying a car, we look at multiple different features including the car's exterior and we all know that there are some beautifully sleek cars out there. But what about the cars that are not so beautiful? Have you ever wondered about that? Well, whether you have or haven't, here's a list of the ugliest cars in the world that will make you laugh like crazy. So keep watching till the end. Number 10. Fiat Multipla The Fiat Multipla looks like it came out straight from the Monsters Inc. movie. I mean, just look at it. Where do we even start? Its front end looks like the bill of a duck, and the car boasts way too many lights to even make sense. Its rear end is completely flat and has little to no trunk room. And the amount of window space? Let's not go there. The car was so famous for its displeasing looks that why does Fiat Multipla look like that started trending on Google. Unfortunately, despite this Google trend, no one was able to answer the question of why does it actually look like this? Number 9. Chrysler PT Cruiser The PT in Chrysler PT Cruiser stands for Plymouth Truck. And the reason it was named this is that it was planned as a Plymouth. This is why when you look at it, it's kind of hard to describe it. Is it an SUV or a sedan? While it's quite confusing what this car actually is, this five-door hatchback was produced for 10 years and had surprisingly decent sales for a car that looks malformed. However, with its pointy snout and protruding wheel arches, it makes us say, thank you, next. Number 8. Pontiac Aztec This car indeed is one of the less ugly ones on this list, but that does not make it bearable. The Pontiac Aztec looks too bulky with strange plastic cladding, narrow windows, and a crazy front end. Pontiac's aim was to capture the attention of younger drivers, however, it failed to do that because of its disastrous looks. Five years after its production, the car was discontinued. Number 7. Tata Magic Iris If only the magic in his name could somehow magically transform this car. Tata Magic Iris's production began in 2010, and weirdly enough, it is still in production, especially because this 4-5 to five seater microvan looks like a toy kindergartners would play around with. While this Indian vehicle does have a good purpose, and it can fit in small cramped streets, competing with a traditional rickshaw, however, it also looks like Tata forgot cars aren't supposed to look like boxed capsules. Number 6. Suzuki X90 There are some cars in this list that simply don't make sense. The Suzuki X90 has to be an example of that because there is absolutely no reason for its existence. This looks like the fusion of a car, a truck, and with a trunk-like nose and the abbreviated rear end of an SUV. We would give them credit for trying to make an appreciated exterior, but we're not clear they were trying at all. Number 5. Pontiac Transporter The Pontiac Transport is widely known as the Dust Buster, simply because this attempt at a minivan absolutely sucks. There's no other way to put it. Back in 1996, it received rave reviews about its futuristic looks. Having that dream car appeal, and so many consumers desired the vehicle, which is why it was given a go-ahead for production. Fast forward to 1998, when the model actually came out, it had lost all the features consumers had craved and boasted nothing but an ugly appearance. Number 4. Smart 4-2 Unfortunately for Smart, their most famous car is not at all what you think it would be. Smart, that is. This tall and thin two-seater with headlights in the shape of two compressed butterflies does not serve it at all. And to think, this car was worth up to $24,000. Combined with its high cost and low selling rate, it was later discontinued. But thank God for that, right? Number 3. Nissan Juke Despite having a name for designing beautiful cars, Nissan has let us down with this one. The car is big, bulky, and has wide protruding wheel arches. It also claims a high waistline, leaving its side windows small and narrow. At the front, all you see are a bunch of the most random obtrusive lights. Unfortunately, there is nothing agile or sleek about the Juke. It seems the majority of the people thought the same, which is why the Juke was discontinued after a short journey. Number 2. AMC Gremlin We're not sure who thought naming this car Gremlin was a good idea, but it fits pretty well. The two-door subcompact featured a similar body to the AMC Hornet, and it boasted a nearly vertical hatchback tail. The Gremlin was designed to be fuel efficient and compete with Japanese models which were specifically known for that quality, but it failed to live up to those standards. With cars like a Gremlin, 
It's not a surprise the AMC couldn't keep up with the big names. Number 1. Nissan Cube Nissan strikes out again, producing what is considered almost universally the worst car of all time. As the name implies, the Cube is exactly like a Cube, boxy. Interestingly, the designers tried their hand at making it seem a bit classy and added an asymmetric wraparound rear window, but that didn't do much to overcome the whole it's a box vibe. Honestly, it only adds to the absolute ugh factor instead. What do you think about our list? Which one made you laugh the hardest? Tell us in the comments. Check out our other videos and subscribe to the channel to become car savvy today.